For a very long time, I've been shooting my portraits with a wider focal length to get these open shots that combine people and their surroundings. Only for a few weeks, I enjoyed getting very close to the subjects in my videos and I decided to buy a lens which I thought I would never spend my money on, a Sony 90mm macro lens. I actually bought this lens for filmmaking, but now I want to find out if it's also a good lens for portrait photography. But first, let me tell you a few things about focal length. The focal length determines the distance between the lens and the sensor of your camera. It dictates how much of a scene your camera will be able to capture, so a smaller focal length gives you a wider angle of your view, while a bigger one has a narrower angle and shows a lot less. The focal length of your lens also defines the depth of field in your image, while a wider focal length brings a larger depth of field, enabling to get a wider range of elements and focus. A large focal length have a shallow depth of field, allowing it to focus on small objects even on a longer distance. This effect of achieving a shallow depth of field with longer focal lengths is the reason why lenses with a focal length of 70mm is best for shooting portraits. The most famous lens might be the 85mm. I always tend to use the surroundings and combine it with my portraits, so I mostly use a wider focal length to get like an open space and a wider shot. But now I want to see how the 90mm macro lens works with shooting portraits. For this, my girlfriend and I did a little walk into nature to look for a nice spot to take photos in. Okay, now so we found this beautiful spot. I actually been here uh, in my last video, but uh, all of this, what you see now, was flooded with water, so I couldn't uh, enter in this space. So that's why we're using it now. And uh, we found this crazy tree behind me, and uh, we're going to use this for a nice photo. And I've equipped my Sony camera with the 90 millimeter lens. Let's see what we can do. At the beginning of his shooting, I actually realized that I would have to take a huge step back from my subject to get the composition and angle I wanted, because I'm just not familiar with such a big focal length. But after a few shots, I got a bit more used to it and started to like the large depth of field this lens would create. I also had no issues with getting blurry images, even with a smaller aperture, so each shot had a clear focus onto the subject. So we took a bunch of photos with the tree and now I want to use this open space and normally I would use my wide angle lens for this, but this bird was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> normally I would use my wide angle lens for this, but now I want to see how I managed to do this with my 90mm lens. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Yay! <laughs> Shooting these portraits felt even weirder for me because normally I would be much closer to the model and even get a wide angle shot with the whole landscape being in the frame. For these, I really concentrated to put my subject in focus with putting the model into the foreground with a larger depth of field in the background. This lens produces a beautiful bouquet which is perfect for isolating your subject and creating that covetous shallow depth of field effect. Moreover, the 90mm focal length provides a comfortable distance between you and your subject allowing you to capture natural and candid moments. It also means you won't have to worry about distortion or unwanted effects like with wider angle lenses. For me shooting with a 90mm lens was quite unfamiliar because I really had to take a step back from the subject to get the composition I was going for. But after a few minutes I knew how to handle this larger focal length and I even enjoyed taking some closer portraits as well. In conclusion, the 90mm Sony macro lens could be a powerful tool for portrait photographers. Its ability to capture details, produce a beautiful bouquet and provide a comfortable distance between you and your subject makes it an excellent choice for any portrait shooting. Its versatility also means that it can be used for any other types of photography as well, like 
landscape, sports, animals and so on. And this fact makes it a valuable investment for any photographer. So next time you're considering buying a new lens for your portrait photography, don't miss out on a Sony 90mm macro lens. I hope I could give you a good overview of this lens and could help you get a better understanding of focal length in general. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos about photography, videography and self-development. I will see you in the next one.